ਹੁਣ Uh, welcome back to the uh, channel everyone, I hope you are all well. Uh, today we are going to take a look at Charing Cross Police Station, uh, which is situated in Agar Street in a WC2 postcode, uh, which is uh, maintainable at the, uh, uh, the public expense. Now, looking at the, uh, the crime stats um, for uh, this area, uh, there was a staggering 2,050 crimes reported in the area um, in the month of April. Uh, with the top four being theft from the person, uh, other theft, antisocial uh, behaviour and uh, violence and uh, sexual uh, offences. Now I'll stitch the priorities uh, and the crime stats into the, uh, into the channel. Now the Safer Neighbourhood team uh, for the area is headed up by Sergeant uh, Paul Hamilton, uh, backed up by eight PCSOs, uh, sorry, by eight PCs and one PCSO. And I've come across an interesting uh, website uh, recently, and um, that recently the uh, the station uh, has actually had a 24.36 million uh, refurbishment. And uh, so I'll stick in some details of uh, that as well. I believe the phone.
I believe the borough commander uh, for uh, Westminster uh, is Superintendent Louise uh, Prudefoot. And um, as reported, um, there's an interesting news article um, in a uh, paper called My London on the 12th of June that pl um, Police Sergeant David Thompson has been given a written warning uh, and the length of this written warning is for five years after turning up for work uh, drunk at Charing Cross Police Station. So, like, how is this officer uh, still in the job? Job. So the first things first is we've got a police van here, parked on uh, double yellow, uh, double yellow lines. Got a vehicle coming out here. Got another one parked on double yellows. I'm actually going to stick my uh, GoPro on uh, this one. So we've got an incident going on down there, down there. So uh, police and uh, police and ambulance. So I'm not going to get too close if there's an ambulance uh, involved. So yeah, I don't want to film uh, if it's uh, something that's uh, not too good. So we're in William Street at the moment, Lagos Street's just down the uh, the bottom. So there's plenty of vehicles here parked on, I don't know if they're police vehicles, parked on uh, single yellows. Got a police van there. And uh, the red vans, they're the... Uh, the diplomatic, uh, diplomatic protection police. Looks like I could do a bit of a clean, uh, both fans. Got a bit of a few scratches on the side of that that uh, vehicle as well. So I, think, I believe this is the actual uh, the police station. It's had the 24 million oh, facelift on it. What if they let me have a look? I'm not going to hold my breath. So quite a few uh, people have visited uh, Charing Cross Police Station in the past. Quite a few different auditors. Let's have a look at what this sign says over here. So this foundation stone, to zoom in. So this foundation uh, stone of uh, this building was laid by His Grace the Duke of Sussex on the 15th of September 1831. Three years later it was opened as the Charing Cross Hospital and Medical School, uh, where for 139 years patients were treated and staff trained uh, in this renowned uh, institution. In 1973 the Hospital Medical School uh, moved to new premises on the site of the former Fulham Hospital in, uh, in West London. So I think this is the uh, back exit or right, entrance to the station. So, can't see in at all. So there's nothing really on here about the crimes that are in the area, like theft or anything like that. Have you been a victim of crime? Have your rights? Treated with respect, dignity. Yeah, a bit about street robbery uh, on here, so that's uh, that's good because uh, sort of street robbery is one of the uh, top uh, top issues in the area.
We've got a TSG uh, unit here. This vehicle here has been used by the, uh, the map. There's people in front of us, I'm not going to go in there yet. No, 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 okay, how many? So you can see through the, uh, I don't know, it's quite reflective glass, so you can't really see in the, uh, in there. We've got another vehicle here, parts on the uh, double yellow lines. Right on the, uh, the corner of a junction as well. So you've got to come forward a little bit and he's got a parking space. Shocking. So yeah, this is where you quite often see a lot of auditors uh, come to. See a few stop and search here. So it's the other uh, way in. Sure, I've seen on videos you could actually see in previously, so it looks like they've uh, blocked that off. So, police driver notice. So, I think vehicles come in here and go out the other side. So, I've got another vehicle here, parts on double yellows, it's all glass on the glass on the floor here, and we've got two other vehicles on the other side over there, both parts on double yellow lines. So I assume that parking is quite difficult around here. So I can't really see inside. So it is a Saturday, so we haven't looked they've got as many officers on duty. I imagine they should have, really. It's, it's going to be busy, isn't it? Especially if there's a, one of their top priorities or one of the top crimes is theft from the person. They should have a lot of officers in, sort of checking uh, checking all that out on the beat. Officer out, outside having a vape. Morning. Morning. It's pretty much uh, ignore me. Uh, so th there's a guy. Just, just suppose I'm not into pronouns, isn't it? Police driver notice prisoner drop off only. All other vehicles should park in the street marked police space uh, or the basement. So, you know, their own sign says there says, you know, should park in the street marked police space or the basement. Well, not being funny, that's not a marked police bay, that's a double yellow line. Double yellow lines over there. Parts right on the corner. Not good, officers. So, vehicle here that's parked on double yellows. It's Bravo X Ray 67 Echo Whiskey Sierra. Loads of glass on the floor. So I've still just gone in.
if looks could kill. I'm going to turn the GoPro off for a minute and I'll stick it back on if I get an interaction so I don't want it to uh, turn off halfway through so, so you can see here's another vehicle coming past it oh, that's a bit tight See inside now, so it's a bit not a lot you can see. See there, so you've sort of got cells just there. The gates are shutting, they're waiting. Yep, that's good. Not that I would go in anyway. So hopefully, I'll get uh, left alone. So I'll stand over. Stand over this side. So another X-ray there. Bravo X-ray again. Let's see if this one's a Bravo X-ray as well. No, it's a Romeo Juliet 18. Foxtrot Bravo Zulu. So just going for his lunch or breakfast, got a prep. Loads of people have actually been to this uh, station before, so hopefully they've learnt the lesson. They'll just leave me alone and get on with uh, get on with it. But uh, I wonder if the Boa Commander knows about the uh, the parking, especially where it's got a sign now: parking marked bays. Every time I've seen other videos, all the uh, Bill Park and W L lines around here. Now, if that was us parts from W L lines, we'll get a ticket. And in Westminster, the vehicle will probably get removed. Then you're not paying to cut on hundred quid to get your car back. But is it one wall for one, or one one wall for another? 
leave your comments guys tell me what you, uh, you think about the, uh, the parking especially where the sign clearly says police driver notice please prisoner drop off only all other vehicles should park in the street marked police space uh, or the uh, basement so is that parking in marked police bays in the street or is it saying you should just park anywhere in the street regardless of whether or not it's a double yellow line but it's a uh, pointless contact in the press office about it because they don't reply so let's have a walk round to the front when I went there a minute ago there's quite a few people uh, inside and I don't want to go in there if, uh, if members of the public are inside. <laughs> yeah, there's loads of people inside so I'm not going to be able to do a counter visit at the moment. Police notice pedal cycles left against these railings will be removed. How about police cars parked on W lines will be removed? How about that for a sign? It's a parking suspension along here as well, and loads of vehicles parked. So you can't see through any of the, uh, the windows at all. A police logbook on that one. There are plenty of sirens going off. If the building next door has Apex House is uh, part of it as well. I'm going to need to do some, uh, rather than weekends, do some police audits during the week when I have a day off work. Okay guys, that's uh, pretty much it. Pretty much left uh, left alone. A couple of officers see me, plenty of uh, officers see me when they uh, drive in on vans. So yeah, looks like Charing Cross Police Station is uh, finally uh, learning. Uh, 
nothing wrong with uh, with filming. So guys, if you uh, if you like that video, please give it a thumbs up, please give it a like, please give it a share. And uh, until the next time, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.